Welcome to the COMC Lake Area High School Coaches Football Show brought to you by the wonderful people at Central Ozarks Medical Center, Hivey Lake of the Ozarks and Jefferson City, Polylift Boat Lifts and New Spring Wellness Center. We'll be talking with Camdenton Lakers head coach Jeff Shore and Osage Indians head coach Shannon Jolly right after this. So it is week one of the high school football season and uh, Coach Jeff Shore, Camdens and the Lakers. Man, thank you so much again for coming back, joining us every week to talk Lakers football. Well, Uncle Roy, as I call you, <laughs> it's an inside joke for you and I. Yep. I appreciate it. Thanks. I look like his Uncle Roy, <laughs> by the way. A lot like him. I do, um, yeah. But uh, no, I really appreciate it. Thank you for doing it. Um, you know, everything you guys do is awesome for our program, brings attention to our kids. And that's the main thing is, uh, you know, those guys put in a lot of hard work and it's just great for our community. So thank you for what you do. So it's been a few months since I've gotten to talk to you since the end of last season. Uh, did you have a nice off season? Did you do anything interesting or were you stuck inside with COVID? No, no, no it was good. It was good off season. And, uh, you know, football speaking, it was really good. I, yeah. I thought uh, had a really good uh, participation in the weight room of kids that weren't you know playing other sports. So um, it was a good off season. And then of course, you know, it was a good off season just personally as well. You know, yeah. some time to do some different things and see family go on vacation. So it was good, but it's it's time to get going again. Here you know? it is. There's only so much of that you can do, and yeah. it's time to time to start playing some football. I sent again. you a text a couple of weeks ago saying you ready to do the coaches show. You're like, I'm ready. Let's go, yeah, that's man. That's right. So you are rocking and rolling. So what do we have coming back this year? Uh, some talent coming back. Yeah, pretty interesting team. Um, you know, I, coming off last year's season, which wasn't uh, record-wise where we wanted it, but it wasn't a bad season. We, we competed well, had some really big wins, um, and really proud of our guys. So we kind of had a good taste in our mouth, really, coming into this year, but hungry. And uh, very uh, very young still. Um, they got a, a bunch of ju uh, juniors and sophomores that are trying to get experience and those kind of things. But uh, one of the solid parts is I feel like we've got a really good nucleus of seniors. Um, that are really number one, great kids, and number two, are good football players. So uh, that always helps. You, you know, that senior year is that you kind of grow up a little bit, I guess you would say. You know, it's your last go around, um, and just kind of the man factor. Um, so I think we had a really great group of nucleus of seniors. Um, they're really good leaders that are uh, um, going to give us a chance to uh, hopefully stick together and put together a good season. What are going to be the strengths and the minuses this year? Uh, are you looking at you know, the offense really being strong, or is it going to be the defense this year, or, or how's that looking? You know, offensively, we had a great summer. Um, we probably had as good a summer as we've had offensively. Um, we kind of came in clicking on all cylinders and had a few guys back. Uh, had Bear uh, Shore, who'd played quarterback for us uh, off and on last year, and he's got, you know, this is his third year uh, under his belt from his freshman year until now running the offense. So uh, that, that was a good season there, or a good uh, summer there. Um, has a really good crop of receivers. So we've got probably 12 to 13 guys. Wow. Um, and, uh, you know, I can sit here and name them all. I will name them here as we go. But, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of them that can play. And um, so that's the great thing on that. And then probably the surprise of the summer was our offensive line. I felt like our offensive line really came together across the board. Um, and senior dominated. We've got Zane Thompson. We've got uh, Landon Thomas, Dakota Davis. Um, a, a bunch of guys in there, Jader Swartz uh, and Gabe Norton, who is a junior, that really have come together to make a really good offensive line. Um, Garrett Hilton is a sophomore. Looks like he might crack the, uh, the, uh, the lineup at, at the center position. Um, we're using Landon at center some, and then that allows us to also use Landon at um, you know tight end or, or possibly even a fullback in our power eye situation. So um, the offensive line was really a, I think a real plus um, for the you know the the uh, the summer season. Defensively, a um, lot of guys with new names. You know we've got uh, Wiley Powers coming back and and Parkman coming back. Uh, those two guys are were main cogs in our defense. But overall. We've got some, just some guys in there that want to play hard and we're kind of doing some different things on defense, a lot more pressure. 
the kids are liking it. So um, we've spent a lot of time learning that, and we're hoping that we kind of need that jamboree and then a, a game, honestly, to figure out where we're at on that. So um, still young, you know, still young. Like I said, got that nice group of seniors, but we're still young across the board. Good to have that youth, though, man, because that says a whole lot for the future and the years uh, coming up. We're talking some Camdens and Lakers football with a main man, head coach Jeff Shore. What, what year is this? How long have you been here now? Well, over a decade now as a head coach. Ooh. but. Wow. As far as being here since birth, basically. And you still so, look young, maybe. You just turned, what, about, 19 or 20? I don't know about that, yeah. <laughs> so we'll continue talking Camdenton Lakers football. This is powered by Como Connect. Chip Thunder here, racing legend, time traveler, and proud pet parent to a T-Rex I named Snuggles. <laughs> After I put Como Connect's internet speeds into my race car and accidentally time traveled, Snuggles here ate my car. I believe this here T-Rex has Como Connect speeds coursing through his dino veins, and he may be my ticket home. Let's ride, Snuggles! Oh, nuts. I done space traveled to Mars. Yep, that's a Martian. Do you want speed like this? All you have to do is call 844-99-FIBER or visit comoconnect.com on the internet. Does anyone know the way to Earth? Of course I speak Martian. I'm Chip Thunder, baby! It's summertime at the Lake of the Ozarks, and you need a local health care facility that can handle every aspect of your lake life. COMC is the medical provider for everyone. With OBGYN, pediatric care, behavior and mental health, dental, and more, Central Ozarks Medical Center is the health care team you're looking for. COMC offers full-service health care from every age. And with three convenient locations and our mobile medical and dental clinics, COMC gives you the peace of mind you need to enjoy your summertime at the lake. At COMC, your health is our mission. There's nothing like summer at Lake of the Ozarks, and Hy-Vee and Osage Beach is your one-stop shop for your day on the boat and fun in the sun. We feature the lake's largest wine and spirits department, along with our lake-famous beer cave. And you'll want to check out our brand new summer fun center with all your apparel, toys, coolers, inflatables, towables, and so much more. Ivy and Osage Beach, voted the number one grocery store in Missouri and your one-stop shop for an unforgettable day in the sun all summer long. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. You've got your home at the lake and you've found the perfect boat. Now to just make sure the boat bottom stays clean and up out of the water. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. We've been the lake's choice for reliable boat lifts for over 40 years and we offer a lifetime warranty on our tanks. We don't just build boat lifts, we build Holly Lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build Holly have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. And welcome back to the COMC Lake Area High School Football Coaches Show, talking with Camden's and Lakers head coach Jeff Shore as we get ready for game number one. Man, we are excited. Uh, and I think you get the first two games at home this year, right? We do. It's, it was a rough uh, it was road season last year. Yeah. You know, This year, our, our schedule sets up really nice. We got our first two at home, and then away game, and then come back at home. So you know, our first three out of four are, are at home. And we've been practicing at Bob Shore Stadium, AKA the Jaws of Death, J-O-D. Yeah. Um, uh, this whole time because we don't get up there as much, you know, normally we're in the practice field. So it, that's going to be good for us to, to have a lot of practice time there and then play uh, three of our first four games at home. That, that's always a, a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. And practicing in this heat, you know, it's funny. Uh, we, we run the full gamut because we're sitting here in the heat of August now for getting ready for game one. 
you know, here at the end of the season, we'll probably be sitting out here on the practice field shivering because uh, winter's here, right? So We always say it's good to be around when, when the leaves are down. So that <laughs> means if, if all the leaves are off the trees, you're still playing, then you're probably pretty far in the playoffs, and it's a good deal. Absolutely. So you mentioned uh, that your son plays for you. Is it hard to coach your son, or is it easier when your son's on the team? How does that work? You know, I had good training, obviously. I played for my own father, so, yeah. and I've already had one son, Bo, play for me through, and I coached my daughter all the way through. She had been a good football player, by the way, if she could have played. Yeah, I bet um, she would have. But, uh, so, it, it's kind of, I, I don't know, I, I've had good examples of it, and so has he. So, it, it's not uh, anything um, difficult as far as that goes. Um, I think we've handled it pretty good. He handles it pretty well. Yeah, because it's tough uh, on – a lot of people don't think about that. It's probably tougher on him than it is on yeah, you. Yeah, and sometimes I'm a little tougher on him than mm. than, than others, and, and so I've tried to, to work on that just a little yeah. bit, you know. Yeah. But uh, now all in all, it's just kind of – kind of par for the course. Okay, so uh, running out of time here, but when you look at the conference, last year, really tough conference. Uh, you know, you struggled through the conference, wins and losses, and then you had a really good playoffs, which said a lot for the conference. Is it right. going to be as tough this year? Yeah, it is. Uh, we start our, our early part of our schedule is really, really tough with Kick Poo number one, you know, Waynesville the second, and then we got West Plains sprinkled in there early. So, you know, that's a really tough start to the schedule, and being young uh, is, uh, you know, it makes it a little more difficult. But but uh, like I said, uh, we've had a great summer and our kids are, are really like where they're at. So we'll be fun to watch, I think, for sure. And uh, I think we'll be very competitive. Are you just as excited going into this year as you were your first year? Or how does that work? Yeah, I think every year it's, it's and I think you value it more every year. You know, this is my, so I've been coaching a long time on the same patch of dirt. Uh, so this is, uh, you just get to valuing it, valuing it more as you get older. I think you realize that, you know. Oh, hey, I'm and still young. What are you talking right. about? <laughs> and so uh, you just, uh, you really look forward to the season. So, um, no, I think I look forward to it just as much right now as I did day one. All right. That's fantastic. And uh, final seconds, the key to the season this year for you guys. Key to the season for us is staying together, um, you know, and getting that experience. So I think we've got the makings of uh, some really good players. Uh, and it's just staying together if things go a little rough or, or, or whatever else because of our inexperience, sticking together and playing hard because I think uh, we got the makings of a pretty good team if we can do that. All right. So we'll talk with Coach Shore every week throughout the season. And, again, we sure thank you for your time. And we've added something new to the COMC Lake Area High School Football Coaches Show this year. Osage Indians coach Shannon Jolly will be joining us, and we'll talk Indians football as well. So we'll catch up with uh, Coach Shannon Jolly right after this. Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. It's summertime at the Lake of the Ozarks, and you need a local health care facility that can handle every aspect of your lake life. COMC is the medical provider for everyone. With OBGYN, pediatric care, behavior and mental health, dental, and more, Central Ozarks Medical Center is the health care team you're looking for. COMC offers full-service health care from every age. And with three convenient locations and our mobile medical and dental clinics, COMC gives you the peace of mind you need to enjoy your summertime at the lake. At COMC, your health is our mission. There's nothing like summer at Lake of the Ozarks, and Hy-Vee and Osage Beach is your one-stop shop for your day on the boat and fun in the sun. We feature the lake's largest wine and spirits department, along with our lake-famous beer cave. And you'll want to check out our brand new Summer Fun Center with all your apparel, toys, coolers, inflatables, towables, and so much more. Ivy and Osage Beach, voted the number one grocery store in Missouri and your one-stop shop for an unforgettable day in the sun all summer long. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. You've got your home at the lake and you've found the perfect boat. Now to just make sure the boat bottom stays clean and up out of the water. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. We've been the lake's choice for reliable boat lifts for over 40 years, and we offer a lifetime warranty on our tanks. 
We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. And welcome back to the COMC Lake Area High School Football Coaches Show. And as you can see, we have made our way across town. We are now at Osage, home of the Indians, and new head coach, uh, Shannon Jolly. Coach, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time this season to join us and talk some Indians football every week. Well, appreciate you guys having us. Um, I know you guys have done a great job in the past, and I'm looking forward to kind of getting started this season. So um, what a great way to kick it off. Absolutely. We're so excited to have you here. And, and we say welcome to Osage, but really it's welcome back because you were here before. Yeah, I think my wife told me it was 16 years, I think. Wow. And, um, you know, my family and I are super excited to be back. And it's just been awesome being back in the area and kind of um, reconnecting. The biggest thing is reconnecting with a lot of my former players. And um, so that's been nice at this stage in my career to have that to kind of um, rekindle things has been awesome for me. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a few years, but I mean, you know this area well because you also coached at Eldon, which is interesting because that's a huge rivalry, right? <laughs> Osage and Eldon. So you know both sides of that. Yeah, that's been an interesting dynamic. But, um, you know, I talked to our kids about it. Eldon came over and um, played seven on seven with us. And it's just an opportunity. I tell people, you know, you move in your career and you do different things, but uh, we've been so fortunate to meet so many fantastic people from different schools, my family and I specifically. And so it's, um, it's, it's a different dynamic, but also it's, it's a positive one for sure. Yeah, so it's been 16 years since you've been here. Uh, have you noticed any changes coming back from 16 years ago? Well, where we're sitting right now, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't have this view um, when I was here the first time. And, uh, you know, it's really, been, it's really been interesting to come back and just kind of um, just get going again. And it seems like um, time has went by, but it's, um, it's different. But there's so many things that are the same, which, is, uh, which was appealing to me to start with, you know, to be back here. So, you know, we did a lot of work here. Um, you know, those 16 years ago to kind of get this thing going. And so to be able to come back and, and just kind of reinsert myself was um, was pretty awesome. Yeah. So you didn't have this football field when you were here the last time. We didn't have any turf. We didn't have any end zone facility. We didn't have custom oak lockers. Uh, we didn't have air conditioning. Uh, there's a lot of things we didn't have when I was here the first time, but uh, that definitely doesn't take away from the, you know, my memories here for sure, because they weren't surrounded by the amenities. We just had a lot of great kids come through here and play, and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we were fortunate to have a lot of success. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so has it been a pretty good, pretty productive summer as you've uh, geared up for the new football season? Yeah, I think so. It's just um, anytime you transition as a football coach, it's tough meeting a new staff, you know, assembling get new guys on your staff, and then introducing uh, different schemes and things and it's a little bit overspoke I mean that's what people talk about all the time but um, our kids have done a uh, have done a lot of work this summer so I'm pretty proud of them yeah absolutely and and I'm guessing every time you uh, you know come in you take over a program that there's kind of like starting from the ground up from the beginning you're teaching a new system new language new everything yeah it's a skill set that I tell people about it's not the most enjoyable one all the time um, but you know, it's the thing that I'm better at now than I used to be is I just have a little more patience right. and you can see things unfold and see how things develop and maybe not be as frustrated early because the kids are doing an awesome job and our coaching staff has killed it uh, this summer. It's just um, the process of getting better. I mean, it's not something that you can uh, snap your fingers and do. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's I'm looking forward to the next few years, uh, you know, kind of watching that process grow. Yeah, and you do have to be patient. I know, you know, you've gone places and it took a year or two sometimes to get get things turned around, get things on the winning track. But once you got on the winning track, you had pretty good programs. Well, I think the thing that's indicative of the programs that I've been fortunate to lead is is we've uh, been committed to building in what I say the right way is being patient, not look for band-aids, but look for solutions and trying to fix things that are um, that can sustain themselves. And there's longevity in the program. And that's what I've been proud of. You know, when, when I've left programs or, or moved on, those programs continue to do well. And that's a tribute to all of the coaches and everybody around the program um, about, you know, 
encouraging our players to follow and do the right things. Yeah. So we're getting ready for the season opener. Uh, we'll talk with Coach Jolly more about uh, week one opponent and the schedule ahead this season right here on the COMC Lake Area High School Football Coaches Show. It's summertime at the Lake of the Ozarks, and you need a local health care facility that can handle every aspect of your lake life. COMC is the medical provider for everyone. With OBGYN, pediatric care, behavior and mental health, dental, and more, Central Ozarks Medical Center is the health care team you're looking for. COMC offers full-service health care from every age. And with three convenient locations and our mobile medical and dental clinics, COMC gives you the peace of mind you need to enjoy your summertime at the lake. At COMC, your health is our mission. Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. Poly Lift Boat Lifts. You've got your home at the lake, and you've found the perfect boat. Now to just make sure the boat bottom stays clean and up out of the water. Poly Lift Boat Lifts. We've been the lake's choice for reliable boat lifts for over 40 years, and we offer a lifetime warranty on our tanks. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. There's nothing like summer at Lake of the Ozarks, and Hy-Vee and Osage Beach is your one-stop shop for your day on the boat and fun in the sun. We feature the lake's largest wine and spirits department, along with our lake-famous beer cave. And you'll want to check out our brand new Summer Fun Center with all your apparel, toys, coolers, inflatables, towables, and so much more. Ivy and Osage Beach, voted the number one grocery store in Missouri and your one-stop shop for an unforgettable day in the sun all summer long. Welcome back to the COMC, Lake Area High School Football Coaches Show. Coach Shannon Jolly getting ready for his first year back with the Osage Indians and coming back, you know, so big of a part of what you do probably um, has to do with the administration and the support you get from the administration wherever you go. What has it been like uh, here in Osage? Well, it was a unique process to come back and interview at a place that you've been and you've been established and meet new people and, and you kind of get an idea of what their um, expectations are mm -hmm. and what their plan is. So I know, uh, you know, Dr. Nelson, our superintendent and Dr. Yoder, and I have had long conversations and it's been awesome for me to sit down with them and talk about their expectations for our football program and my expectations and where they align. But, uh, you know, as far as getting started, our administration has been awesome, um, you know, in support of, you know, not necessarily purchasing things for the football team, but adding support and letting me know that, that they support our program and that they're wanting to see a winning program uh, again at School of the Osage. Boy, that makes all the difference, doesn't it? Because when you don't have that support, you're in trouble. It makes all the difference. And the cool part about it is, you know, those two specifically and Mr. Dawson at the high school and Chris Wolf at the upper elementary is a good friend of mine and, and Mr. Dickerson and all those guys, the administrative team, are Osage Indian fans. And so they have kids coming up and, and it's been fun for me to talk about the possibility of coaching their children. So everybody's invested in, in doing things the right way and, and building this program back to a championship caliber team. Okay, so you come in, you take over this program. Uh, I'm sure you've looked at tape from years past. What do you have this year? Do you have uh, stuff to work with? Or are you kind of starting from the bottom? What, what are you kind of expecting this year? No, I was pleased. I mean, when you come into a program that, that is, um, you know, that struggled in the last couple of years, sometimes you'll see some holes. And, uh, you know, Coach Johnson and his staff did a really good job of, of doing things the right way. And it's been easy for us to build off of. So there was a foundation there. And we've got some good players. Um, just kind of um, fine tuning things and maybe getting them in in the direction that, that I want them to be specifically. You know, the key things for us are like, you know, our mental errors, um, kind of reducing the number of penalties and turnovers, mm -hmm. and uh, more things that have to do with um, 
mental accountability and, and commitment level has been the focus for us this summer. Okay, so we've got, I believe, Fulton. Uh, this week, right? The season opener. Uh, what does Fulton bring to the table? Well, they always bring a group of athletes. I mean, Fulton is always talented athletically. So, you know, you, you never, we talk initially from our staff, we don't ever want to underestimate any opponent. Mm -hmm. So um, regardless of what our record was last year against an opponent or the year before, um, they're a talented team. They've got a new football coach in Dana Chambers, who's a, a young coach that was at Hickman High School last year, and he's a friend of mine. And I know uh, Dana's working hard. He came back to his hometown to reestablish things. So as I'm working here trying to regroup, I know he's in Fulton doing the exact same thing. Thing. Yeah, and the and the conference itself, uh, you know, usually you got your Blair Oaks at the top. You know, they're always tough to beat. You got your local rivals uh, with Eldon and Versailles and whatnot. Is uh, is your team uh, you looking at going to be able to be pretty strong and competitive? You think? You know, we'll see. I mean, that's going to be one of those things, and how healthy we are, and and how much we improve. I mean, we've had a good summer, but you know, we went to Branson to team camp. We got a good look. Friday will be a good indicator of us again as kind of another dress rehearsal in the Jamboree. But um, when it becomes the season, I mean, all bets are off. And, and like you said, in this conference, in this league, um, you know, you win a game on Friday night and uh, you're going to feel good about it because they're not easy to come by. Boy, that's for sure. Those wins, those W's are tough to get. Coach Shannon Jolly, looking forward to a great season ahead. And thank you again for taking the time to join us every week. Uh, that is the first edition of the a COMC, Lake Area High School Football Coaches Show, brought to you by High V in o uh, Osage Beach in Jeff City, New Spring Wellness Center, and Polylift Boat Lifts.